So we move to the interior of the Ineos Grenadier. Uh, I'll talk you around the features, the, the highlights as it were. So Toby uh, designed uh, the Ineos Grenadier inside and outside and he is a yacht designer and he's taken inspiration from marine and aviation uh, elements as it were. So your centre console has your day-to-day -day controls, your heating, your ventilation. Everything is clearly marked. There's no symbols on this vehicle. You'll see every switch is clearly written out what its function is, be it hazard light, be it seat heating. The reason that is done for, uh, for that exact reason, because it's clarity, it's easy to see and use as well. All the buttons are very, very tactile and machined as well. Everything can be worked with a gloved hand. Uh, when you move to the roof panel, that has your more technical functions. That's aviation inspired. So, for example, any electrical accessories that you bolt onto the vehicle, be it winches, tow bars, light bars, any electrical accessory, once you've bolted it on, you plug it in and it will run from that roof panel as well. Again, aviation uh, inspired and it's also very cool as well. Also, uh, it has the additional benefit, obviously, if you're off-road or in difficult conditions, you need both hands on the wheel, your passenger can also operate various functions and buttons on your behalf as well. Part of the design brief for the Ineos Grenadier was to have a mechanically operated handbrake and a manually operated centre diff lock as well. You also have the 8-speed ZF transmission, Box, same box that they use in Rolls-Royce, Mercedes, Audi, BMW. It's the most smoothest shifting gearbox out there, but it can also handle anything up to a thousand Newton meters of torque, which is why they chose it. It's just proven reliability. So this is the Ineos Grenadier steering wheel. You can see it has the optional Aniline uh, lever, which is known as saddle lever. It's undyed and it's like your favorite pair of shoes as you live with a car, you use it, it patinas and ages with you as well. You've also got other functions on the steering wheel, most notably the toot button, which is on your right hand side. The toot button, you can see the little cyclist symbol there as well. And it's exactly that. It's to basically warn other users, road users uh, of your presence without terrifying them with a typically loud horn as you would do in a normal vehicle. So we're at the back of the vehicle uh, of the Ineos Grenadier. And the first thing you'll notice is a huge aperture. Uh, the vehicle itself, it has, because it's a functional vehicle, it does have drain plugs in the rear. It will have drain plugs in the interior cabin as well, which basically means you can hose out the interior uh, and all the fittings and seat coverings are also hydrophobically coated and stain resistant as well. All the electrical switches are IP rated, as are the roof panel switches, which basically means they're all waterproofed electrically. So if you do have messy children, take your dogs for a walk, it's a rainy day, or you use it as a working vehicle, and it gets a bit messy, no need to worry, just literally take a hose to it, hose it all out, and then give it a wipe down after that. 